to break it up with a little bit of student voice. Um, we love hearing from our children. Uh, normally we would ask some of our current year sixes to, to come in and talk to you, but it's a little bit different this year. But fortunately I've been working this year um, online, meeting online once a week, uh, some of our student representative leaders and their children, two children from every class, so four from every year level from year one right through to year six. And they've been working together with me. Some of our current families will have seen some of their little videos. And they've been trying to send um, messages and well-being tips to our community during this remote learning period. So I've just got just a couple of minutes from there. The things I enjoy about flexible learning are becoming a more independent learner so I can be successful in year seven and the art activities that I do. Like for one, for example, is this graffiti art poster I made and this city that I'm also made as well. In flexible learning, I enjoy having my mom as my teacher and working at my own pace. I stay positive by doing gymnastics. How do you stay positive? I stay positive by spending time with my family. How do you stay positive? I stay positive by thinking of the things that I can do like riding my bike or going on Zoom meetings with my friends or having pizza on Friday night. <laughs> when I return back to school, I am looking forward to seeing my friends, seeing all my teachers and learning more about maths. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Sorry about that. They love talking. <laughs> All right, so that's just a little taster of some of, um, from some of the little messages that the children have sent and particularly some of our year ones there as well. Um, and we have got a St. Saint Pat's YouTube channel. Um, we try and share some of those, those messages um, either during our virtual assemblies, which we've had a bit of fun making. Uh, I think we've had made 15 of those assemblies now. Uh, and and we, we share lots of messages from the children as well as present awards to them as well. So now I'm going to invite Karen, Karen, our learning diversity leader, just to say a few words about her role. Thanks, Karen. Welcome everyone. We can't wait to actually um, see you face to face and um, welcome you into our school. So my title is a learning diversity leader. And I suppose as a Catholic school, we really value diversity in our um, students, in, it, in your children. And so we're committed to um, working in partnership with you to ensure that um, your child um, is able to reach their full potential or their full flourishing. So um, as the learning diversity leader, I feel very privileged to work in partnership with you as you, you are their first educators. And together we um, work as a team to um, uh, support your child in every way. So spiritually, um, academically, emotionally, um, and culturally. So um, that's my role and I work closely with the teachers as well. We have a team, a learning diversity team and wellbeing team that we work together. And we work um, to identify the needs of the students from the data that we've collected. And from there that we might um, set some goals and monitor those goals to ensure that the, um, your child is supported fully. So I suppose, um, the word diversity really is the important word in my title and that's what we really um, honour. So uh, I love my job. It's really um, every day is different. I love working with the teachers, um, with the leadership team and with the parents as well. So um, each day is um, 
very different, but um, I feel very privileged to um, have this role. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Karen. And we're very privileged to have you as part of our team as well. So thank you very much for supporting our children and our staff together. All right, now I'm going to invite Victoria Nyan Jones to talk to us now. Um, Victoria is our Parish Education Board Chairperson. So welcome, Victoria. Thanks, Jenny, and uh, thank you for inviting me to speak. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the new families, to St. Patrick's. It doesn't seem like two seconds ago that I was actually um, attending one of these prep welcome evenings, and here I am about to, uh, to start off a new prep next year. So I have Miles, who'll be joining, and I have Hugh, who's currently in uh, grade one. Um, I can only reiterate everything that uh, has been shared tonight. St. Pat's is a really great school and we're really grateful um, that we joined the St. Patrick's community a couple of years ago. Um, I was personally really lucky to take the first term off work um, to settle Hugh into school and it meant that I got to spend a lot of time around St. Patrick's and volunteer for some things like the class fate, the colour run, the disco, um, and hopefully all these things will be able to run next year for, for all of us. Um, I presented at this session myself last year um, and I was approached subsequent to that to join the Parish Education Board. Um, and I've just taken up chair of that recently. Um, unfortunately, all of our meetings have been like this. So um, the advisory group is, is really there as a, a body to, uh, to support the principal, the priest and principal educators um, in matters relating to um, the community and the voice of parents, just really a sounding board. Um, if anyone is interested in learning a little bit more about the, the board itself, um, there is information on the learning community site. Uh, we meet regularly, so generally once, once a term. And uh, this year our focus has really been on um, resilience and, and, you know, talking about the challenges that we'll have and, and how we can support our beautiful children back to school this year. Um, we have a number of working groups that sit under, under the board. Um, I sat on one last year myself, which is the Cultural Advisory Committee, and um, really just having enjoyed, uh, you know, getting to know the school and, and to volunteer and would encourage all of you to, to get involved if you can. Fantastic. Thank you. That was, that was it, really. Anything else that you wanted me to cover, Jenny? No, that's fantastic. And maybe if it's all right with you, Victoria, if anyone wants to learn a little bit more, if they could also, I'll put the community um, learning site link, but maybe they could also email you as well. Yes, um, of course. And for those that might get confused, there are two of us. There's two Victoria Jones, in case you're wondering whether or not we're a multiplying here on the screen. I, I'm fortunate enough to meet the other Victoria Jones. Um, her, her daughter has been in the same, same class, but there are two of us. So my email is Victoria Jones. Knowing if you're looking to email me, please do so. Thanks, Victoria. That's fantastic. And uh, yes, we're, we're looking back, looking forward to hopefully having some face-to-face -face meetings in the future as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. So now I would like to invite another one of our wonderful parents, um, same name as I have, so Jenny Jones. So welcome Jenny from the Parents and Friends Association. Thank you, Jenny. So I'm another Jenny and another Jones, but no relation. Um, I'm currently the co-president of our Parents and Friends Association at St. Pat's. And uh, we started, uh, Kim Johnston and I started in that role at the end of last year um, and had some amazing plans to continue on the fine tradition of um, bringing the parent group together and supporting the school um, as the Parents and Friends Association does this year. And in uh, the best tradition of best laid plans, um, very few of those were actually able to be realised this year, but we're looking forward to resetting in 2021. Um, in really broad terms, the Parents and Friends Association um, supports the school and the school community, and particularly for prep parents, I know um, one of the most important things that we try to, to do um, is to provide opportunities for parents to 
build friendships within the school um, and also enhance the school experience for our children um, by coordinating and that's done hand in hand with um, Jenny and the other um, members of the staff um, through special days um, that the children really enjoy. So sometimes they're fundraising, sometimes um, they're purely uh, just something a little bit extra. Um, mothers and fathers and special friends day stalls, um, colour runs and the school fate that we uh, ran, gosh, when was it last year? Time is a little bit hard to keep track of um, and that sort of thing. Um, so one of the uh, things for you as new parents to the school, for those of you that are new, is that we coordinate and publish um, separately to the school, but really to support the school, our pink list, which is hard to see in my lighting, but it's on pink paper traditionally, which is why it's called the pink list. Um, very handy handbag or briefcase sized, and basically it contains the email address and phone numbers of all the parents and the names of the children divided up by class as well as contacts for the school and some other little handy pieces of information because as prep parents you will be overwhelmed in particularly in that first term and uh, being able to reach out to your fellow parents for information uh, reaching out to the school or to other um, keep track of other things that are going on in that first term it can be a little bit crazy so that's um, something that I think is invaluable and I'm not sure how many other schools do that but it's a, a, fa a fabulous tradition and we will work out a way of um, uh, grabbing your details next um, next year to bring all that together as soon as possible. The other thing that the PNF coordinate um, is a parents and friends representative amongst um, each year level and or class and generally that is a really important job in prep because there is so much information, school photos, what day are they, how does that work, what uniform is it today, does anyone know what we do with library books, when's library today, when's lunch orders, how do lunch orders work, all of those little questions that you'll have um, in prep and might feel a little bit embarrassed to contact the school teacher, although your class teachers will obviously answer them, it's really good to have some parents, some experienced parents who have done prep once, twice or more for those of you who are lifers at the school. Um, so we'll um, be looking at, and I'm taking notes of all the familiar names. Um, I see you on the screen there, the Boyds and the Pisanos and the Jemetsises and the Joneses will be, and the Herds will be reaching out to you to see if um, perhaps we can convince some of you to step up to that role because it is really important in prep. Um, we like to say that um, it does take a village to raise a child, but it certainly takes a village to support a parent um, of a primary school child, at least anyway. And the PNF is really about building that village for you um, in whatever way we can. Next year, all things being uh, equal, we really hope that we can um, bring a lot of social face-to-face -face, um, interactions. The term one is generally reasonably full on the social calendar and there's generally a lot of opportunities for prep parents in particular to get together um, with your children and without your children to um, really build those network networks um, amongst your parents. I know I only knew one other parent as a prep parent coming in and um, I can very much say that St. Patrick's is very much my village at the moment um, and the parent cohort, cohort all step up to help each other out when we're running late and, um, you know, has anyone got an egg even, you know, all of that. So it's a really wonderful school community and um, welcome for those of you who are doing prep for the first time next year and uh, looking forward to meeting all the younger children of the parents who are already members of our school community. Thanks, Jenny. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jenny. And again, there's a wealth of information there that you've um, shared. And those pink lists are very valuable. I've, uh, I've got a couple in my office and whenever I'm contacting a parent, I rush and grab that as well. And it's, it's very handy for the emails. 
for us, for teachers as well. So thank you for all of your hard work.